Yeah, I'm hanging out in a beautiful backyard. It's gonna be, oh, I don't know, triple digits this weekend, but I am cool as a cucumber underneath this beautiful shade tree in the backyard of my new listing to show you. Stay tuned. Just need to know what you're getting into and whether you're gonna buy or sell. Before we get started, I want to talk to you about Bakersfield right now. Our market is insane. The temperatures are hot, but the market is even hotter. My word, bird. And so I just wanted to make sure you guys knew, first and foremost, that if you are thinking about relocating here, we've got to get on it and make sure you download that relocation guide, the buyer's guide, any other guide that you might need. If you need to get qualified, make sure you check that out because there's no time to waste right now if you're in the market to buy a home. Welcome back. So let's talk about what I'm about to show you. This lovely home behind me, two stories, four bedroom, three bath, and neat as a pen. And when you want to know about square footage, boy, oh boy, am I about to show you some square footage over 2,500 square feet, almost 26. And we've got high, we've got low, we've got cubbies, we've got rooms. Ooh, you're gonna like this tour. Let's get started. As you approach the property, I mean, it's just welcoming beyond belief. This giant patio, covered patio, with this lovely river walk, river rock. Got a lovely crepe myrtle right there, easy maintenance yard. I mean, take a look. Take a look at that. Nice entryway, very welcoming. All right, so uh, let's just throw it out there. You know, Bakersfield, we love to talk about where we are in the zip codes. This is 93312. We are at the intersection, T, of Revolution and Liberty Court in 93312. We're near Frontier High School. We're near Almondale Elementary. into the master bedroom. We've got plantation shutters on either side there, which really help with the summer heat to keep the upstairs cool. Uh, this is a really large space. My clients have a queen bed, and this is just one heck of a giant room. Obviously, they're moving, so no judging there. We are okay with that. And as we go over here, ensuite master, As we go into this giant closet, we've got floor space, we've got storage, we've got all kinds of room. Oh, it's so peaceful out here. You'd never know it's ridiculously hot right now as we kick back underneath this giant shade tree by the fire pit, which we're not gonna light, but let's talk about this house. So this cement slab was added by my sellers and the fire pit as well. And then all of the plantings all around the backyard, there's a drip system for all of them. River rock surrounding the plantings and then the drip system all the way up into the stand-up garden right there. Such a nice space to hang out at the end of a day, have a nice beverage, and you're underneath a tree. But guess what? This tree isn't even on the property. It's the neighbor's tree, but you get the benefit of it. Look at this. Look at this. So cozy. And I can tell you right now, the temperature is about 98 degrees. And I would say it's about 15 degrees cooler underneath this tree. 
it's delicious out here. The backyard just keeps going and going. We've got a little stand up garden, the fire pit. So as you can see, this home, I'm still in the backyard, obviously, does not have solar. We are facing north-south, and you could absolutely incorporate it to this roof and these roof lines without it being the first thing that you see when you drive up. So just wanted to throw that out there. I know we always have conversations about solar on this channel, and this would be a great add solar to. You could do it on the top, or you could do it right up there. 